One, two, three.
Um, that I think, you know, just keep, keep it up. I would do it at least once a week with metronome. Check in with, if, if not more, maybe you do it more, but I, I definitely would do it at least once. Then the other thing that I, I really think will help you is, um, since it's memorized, I would keep my eye on the bow. Do you know what your bow is doing? It's, a, it's sliding, the contact point. Um, where do you want the contact point of the bow to stay? In the middle. In the middle. There's a little bit of sliding with all the fast notes, and you'll get a much cleaner, clearer sound if you really make sure that you, you keep the bow contact point. And when you, when you have fast notes, what should we do with the bow when we have a lot of fast notes? What was that? Make them smaller. Yeah, use less bow. Yes. Because if, if we're playing this fast for a long time, my arm's going to fall off. If I play like this, I can play for like an hour, two hours, and I'll be fine. So just try to figure out the, my teacher used to call that economy of motion, meaning only use the motion that you need. You don't need that much. I'm excited. You don't need that much. So don't use that much. Only use just what you need and no more. That way you can really control the bow and keep the contact point in the in the middle. Okay? Other than that, great job. I just want to try one more thing. Can we try the, the cue at the beginning? Can we try it once again? So it's tricky when you have a pickup because you need to breathe the beat before the pickup. So the pickup is on the end of four. So we need to breathe on what beat? On three. On four. On four. Because so ba, ba. So you want to count one, two, three. Ba, ba. So it's on the end, so I know it's tricky. So it's on beat four that you want to take a breath. Ba, ba. Can we try that? Here we go. One, two, three. Right. That, that's it. But you need to breathe. Ba, ba. One, two, three. Right. Can you do that by yourself? Make sure your bow doesn't make a sound before you begin. Yeah, so at home, that's the other thing. When you practice with metronome, you have to practice giving the cue as well. So that way when you do it with piano for real, you're already used to it. Okay? Good job. That's it.